I'll just hang on a second, right, as people join before I start explaining things, explaining why I'm doing this live Q&A session. So please like and all that good stuff. Um, just while people join, I'm just saying, to explain, I'm in court uh, tomorrow. Today's Monday. Tomorrow is Tuesday in court. Tomorrow and probably Wednesday in the High Court um, in relation to um, SIPO, the Standards and Public Offices, their failure to investigate my complaint about Leo Varadkar, the Taoiseach, leaking a document, a draft GP contract to a friend of his. Um, so I'm just going to talk a little bit about that and maybe may wait till a few more people have, have joined, ask people to put in any questions. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, I am a little bit constrained because the court case is about to take place tomorrow and Wednesday, but to the best of my ability, I will answer the, the questions as I can. Um, so uh, yeah, please put in any, any comments there or questions about this, this court case. Um, so I'll maybe start from the start as, as people are are joining. Um, tomorrow I'm in the High Court, um, officially against SIPO, the Standards and Public Offices uh, Commission, um, but it's also about Leo Varadkar. It's about a complaint I made about Leo Varadkar. So I'd say most people have forgotten this now, to be honest. If people remember there was a hashtag at the time, Leo the Leak, um, and it was about this story that was done by The Village magazine, which revealed that Leo Varadkar had leaked a confidential document. It was a draft contract with GPs between the, the government and GPs that was being negotiated with the Irish Medical Organization. And Leo Varadkar, when he was Taoiseach, uh, got that document and gave it to a friend of his uh, and a political supporter of his, a guy called Matthew O'Toole, who was the head of a rival organisation called the NAGP, the National Association of GPs. Um, like, it was definitely a confidential document, a confidential written on it, and he leaked it to his friend. Um, so, in my opinion, this seemed to be a very clear breach of the ethics legislation, um, which says, like, there's a code of conduct for uh, members of Dáil Éireann and Shannon Éireann to abide by. Um, for example, I quote from it, members must not use official information which is not in the public domain or information obtained in confidence in the course of their official duties for personal gain or the personal gain of, of others. And um, there's other similar references. And it's clear there was personal gain to Matthew O'Toole because he was the head of the NAGP and he was boasting to his friends of his that he uh, that he had this contract and it was boosting him within the NAGP. And it was also for the benefit of Radker because this is a political supporter who would support him in future. So I did what you're supposed to do, which is complain to the Standards and Public Office Commission, whose job it is to uh, look after this stuff. Um, and it was a very long process. So I, I had this very detailed complaint, loads of appendices, all these articles, all this proof that this happened, Varadkar admitted it happened, that it was a leak, and that it was therefore against the, the thing. So originally, Sippo said, oh, we're, we can't investigate this because the guards are investigating it. So then the guards investigate, wait till the guards finished. And then, then Sippo finally went and uh, looked at it. And basically what Sippo did, again, all this stuff is all on my Twitter if you want to check it out, um, is... Sippo decided, very simply, that they could not investigate, that they would not be investigating this. I quote from the key bit, right? Um, the commission carefully considers legal advice, including the acceptance by the respondent, which is Leo Varadkar, that he did disclose the agreement, but that it was done pursuant to the functions of the Office of Taoiseach and in furtherance of the policy or goals of the government. This is the key sentence. In such circumstances, where the commission is of the view that it has no role and or remit to consider either the lawfulness of the action or the extent of the powers of the Office of Taoiseach, it is the opinion of the commission that evidence of sufficient to sustain a complaint is not or will not be available, even in circumstances where the disclosure of the agreement is not in dispute. Right? Basically, what they said, what Leo Varadkar said, yes, I did it. I leaked the document, although he doesn't use the word leak, of course. Um, but I did it in my capacity as Taoiseach. And I did it in pursuance of the policy goals of the government. And the attitude of Sippo is to say, once he says that, once he says he did this as Taoiseach, we're not looking into it. We can't look into it because we can't determine whether he did it as Taoiseach, whether it was in furtherance of the policy goals of the government or not. So therefore, we're not even going to have an investigation into it. So, and that was it. Then I get a letter back from Sippo saying, we've made our decision no appeals process or whatever, that's the end of it. Um, so the only thing that I could do is to go to the High Court 
um, to seek to have this decision overturned. And that's what's happening tomorrow and Wednesday. Uh, Eamon asked what was on the documents. Uh, the document is a, the document was a draft GP contract. So it was being negotiated between the government and the Irish Medical Organization. And Varadkar gave it to a friend of his and a political supporter, Matthew O'Toole, who was the head of a rival organization, who it was really much in their interest. They wanted to see what is being negotiated here because they're a rival. Uh, I'm not deleting your comments. Call me bold, user. Fire ahead. I'm quite bold, unfortunately. Um, uh, but anyway, um, enough boldness comments. Um, this is going to be decided in the High Court. Well, the case will be heard in the next couple of days and decided in the next number of, of weeks. Um, it later emerged, right, that this was the first ever time that SIPO had a divided vote. So there's five members on it and there was three in favour of deciding we can't investigate because Varadkar says he did it at Seashock and two uh, against it. Um, and one of those against it said, like some of the stuff came out in the Freedom of Information request, he said, I believe the respondent is subject to the Code of Office for Office is subject to the Code of Conduct for Office Holders and is not beyond the reach of SIPO. In other words, you can't just say I did it as Taoiseach and then we can't, um, we can't do anything about it. We can't go and investigate it. SIPO should be investigating this. Um, so this, this is a very important case, I think. It has like very widespread ramifications because basically if the decision is not overturned, then in future, no matter what a minister or a Taoiseach or a Taoiseach or whoever does, uh, that's it on the face of it, against the ethics legislation, against the code of conduct, all they have to say is, yeah, I did it, but I did it as minister. Yeah, I did it, I did it as Taoiseach. I did it in pursuance of the policy goals of the government. Um, you know, literally, you can have someone accepting like a brown envelope of cash um, for some planning deal or something, something like very blatantly corrupt. And they could just, someone can complain to SIPO and they say, oh no, yeah, I did it, but I did it as, I accepted the brown envelope as Taoiseach. And the precedent they're creating here is to say, we can't investigate it. You know, it's like Richard Nixon did this thing whereby he said, if the president did it, it can't be illegal. That's basically what the argument for Radker used. Um, so, in my opinion, and it's the legal case that my lawyers are going to be making, is that, um, uh, is that, sorry, someone's saying, extremely interesting, taxpayers' money is going towards you sitting at home yapping on tax phone. I don't know what you mean by tax phone. This is it's my phone. <laughs> but, uh, Obviously, yeah, look, people like Joe playing defense for Varadkar here because they don't want Varadkar exposed, don't want Varadkar investigated for leaking the document to his friend. He wants the SIPO decision to be upheld. I think it's pretty important that this case is taking place. I think it's pretty important people know about it. I think it's pretty important that the case, that the decision will be overturned. If I'm successful, what will happen basically is that SIPO, the decision not to investigate will be overturned and SIPO will then have to investigate um, this leak. It'll obviously create a significant uh, problem uh, for Varadkar, but also will create a much better precedent, which is that you can't just hide behind the fact that you're Taoiseach to break whatever rules you want and um, say the rules don't apply to me. I did it as Taoiseach and that's just the end of the end of the day. Um, uh, the government needs gone. Absolutely. I agree with you. Leo's taking a page from the Trump book. Absolutely. That's like, this is Trump's defense uh, as well. Um, well, if he was found guilty by SIPO, um, Sippo said he was in breach of the ethics legislation. Um, I, I think it's very difficult for him to remain as Taoiseach. How can you have someone who's clearly in breach of the rules remaining as Taoiseach, I think. Um, so we'll, we'll see. Um, but anyway, people can watch it. Like There'll be coverage, hopefully, in the mainstream media in the next couple of days about this uh, case. Um, people should keep an eye on social media and so on in terms of updates. Reporters uh, who are present at the at the court, hopefully writing uh, articles and so on that we'll be um, making people aware of. Um, throw in any more questions uh, there you have about... There's people asking loads of stuff about other stuff, which I, I do do uh, Q&As once a week generally about other stuff and people can ask whatever, but here we're just focusing on the court uh, case. So if, if put in any final questions about... Um, Sorry, someone asked how to contact you for help with housing concern. If the best thing is email me, paul.murphy at oroctus.ie or at oir.ie. Um, Philip says you're all the same, pal. That's what people, people who support Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael want people to think, oh, they're all the same. All the politicians are the same. Just to create a cynicism of people to think there can't ever be any change. Well, look who's standing up to fight against the kind of behaviour of Leo Varadkar and so on. Look who's standing up for ordinary people um, and like, there is a difference, you know, there's a significant difference between, for example, people before profit and uh, Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael. 
Um, but uh, anyway, any questions about the case? Um, Someone says, okay, well, look, okay, well, there's a question about the case. What do you think the odds are Leo is held, held accountable? Not a criticism, just your thoughts. I don't know, is the answer. Um, there's no guarantee of winning in any court case. Um, so we don't know whether we're going to win the court case or not. If we do win the court case, I think it is significant. Um, I mean, I, I do think we have a very strong case because I think it is like crazy that you can have a situation that someone can simply say, yeah, I did it but I did it as Taoiseach and Sippo would refuse to investigate because they said that. I think that's crazy. So I do think we have a good case, but you never know in advance. I think it has widespread ramifications. So I'm obviously hopeful that we'll win the case. And then the next step would be a Sippo investigation. And obviously we would we would see. Leon says exactly it's black and white. I mean, it is black and white. It's in, there's a really good, if you search, if you Google, like Leo the League, the village, you see articles that have the whole thing, uh, have the whole thing done. Um, Simon says nobody cares about the case fix the country but it's not part of what's wrong with the country the idea that the Taoiseach is able to do whatever he wants um, we have these rules that are meant to say how politicians how government TDs and so on and ministers Taoiseach are meant to behave and they simply don't obey them so I, I think that is one of the things that's wrong with the country it's no problem if you think everything's fine fire ahead vote for Fianna Fáil Fine Gael. that's absolutely your uh, right um, someone says Leo just wants a cushy EU job. Yeah, quite possible, I would say. Um, does the Taoiseach get immunity like the US president? No, um, they don't. Uh, ethics. Uh, just looking. Someone really wants me to go to Turkey to get the hair fixed. I'm perfectly happy with my hair. Thank you very much. I don't need to go to Turkey to get my hair fixed, but thanks for the advice. Um, all right. Um, I'll leave it there. Uh, Keep an eye out for the case over the next number of, of days. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully I'm back in a few days. Or it, we might get a decision in a couple of weeks, realistically. Hopefully back in a couple of weeks to say, okay, we've got a good decision. It means you can't hide behind this defence that you just your a Taoiseach. Um, and then that there will be a, that there will be a, a proper investigation. Um, so we'll see. Uh, thanks a lot for joining. Thanks for all your relevant questions. Thanks for the hair advice from the fellow who was giving me the hair advice. Bye-bye.